guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey, everybody here we are with another video for you guys today. And today, Mrs. Mikey J Productions, Jen, is going to be playing some of the brand new game, Hogwarts Legacy. She's super excited about it, and she's going to be adding this little series to the channel. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this content or any of the content on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're a really big fan of the content, head over to Mikey J Productions and become a member. It is the best way for you to support what we got going on here, and we really appreciate it. But Mrs. Mikey J will be getting into Hogwarts Legacy, so let's see what she's got cooking after the intro coming in. That's one small step for man. America! Demand your MJP! I want my MJP! I want my MJP! I want my MJP! Call your cable company and say I want my MJP! Gryffindor Common Room. Now, which way is the common room? Must be different, starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Who does oh, Lily think she is, anyway? Oh, what did I do wrong this time? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just then? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation. But this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Roman's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Do most students know how to cast non-verbal? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year, and even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbal? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I've been meaning to ask you, that you girl thinks she can get away with anything. If I think we'll do anything for a thrill. <laughs> It'll be the next Butterbeer. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. 
Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Are you having butterbeer? For breakfast? Hmm? Oh no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to Butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh, creativity as much as you might think. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth, and thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. Thank you. I love a Weasley. If you pay attention, she gets bolder every year. I hope the professor catches her this time. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> Well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? It's true, and I was almost killed. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. How awful for you. And of course, that poor man from the Ministry. But still, you got to see a dragon. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I've never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I think. I take it you're not afraid of heights. Mm, it's something I've always done, since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle, and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale the tower to see something incredible here. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. Goodbye. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. See what I can do in the common room. Oh, I can make things bubble. I can eat an apple. What did you think you were doing? That owl has been in our family for 30 years. And you uh -oh. thought it would be clever to transfigure her into into a goblet and leave uh -oh. her in the great hall after a feast? I hear the elves have had to transfigure every goblet in the castle looking for her. I hope you're jolly well proud. Oh. He got a howler. Well, I can eat a whole bunch of stuff. Eat. 
Is it possible to become an aura and not excel in potions? I think so, wouldn't you? It's all about demeanor, really, isn't it? Being an aura, having a commanding stature. I think I shall be poor to be that in Can turn music on. Lots of bubbles. I'd rather have a touch of potions and sharp. I don't like how often he mentions common poisons. It's like his plan is something. Oh, I mean, I do that. I didn't think it was possible. And then one minute I was stirring, and the next I was swimming in the same potion. Sharp always threw his wand at me, I swear. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, we got merch store. If you want to take a little piece of the show with you, you can get it right here. We got everything. You want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.